Hello friends, this video on cubes and cube roots part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Layer like this. So now overall this width is 10, length is 10, height is also 10. So this is actually a cuboid of volume 10 to the power 3 that is 1000 centimeter cube. And to make this cuboid how many and to make this cube how many cuboids we needed? We needed 20 cuboids. You see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 here and 10 at the back layer. So 20 cuboids were needed. And by calculation also we could do it in this way. So 50 was not a perfect cube. That is why it was not a cube. It was not a cube but a cuboid. So we just by prime factorization we saw that what is that number which when multiplied with 50 will form a perfect cube and we found that number as 20. So that means 20 cuboids will be needed to form a cube. So now that we have learned about cubes, let's talk about cube roots. So now this is no more new to you because you have already learned about square roots in the previous lesson. So in a very similar manner, cube root is the inverse operation of cubes. For example, let's say that if you want to get 8 from 2, so if you want to get 8 from 2, what do you do? You multiply 2 3 times, that is you cube 2. So 2 cube is 8. Similarly, if you want to get 2 from 8, so you want to obtain 2 from 8. So what will you do with 8? So if you cube 8, you will get 8 into 8 into 8, which is 64. So what will you do so that you get 2 from 8? So in that case, you do cube root of 8. So 2 cube gives 8, but cube root of 8 gives 2. So that means both are inverse operations. So just like squares and square roots. Squares and square roots are also inverse operations. Similarly, cube and cube roots are inverse operation. So all of these, when you look at these, you see that whenever you want to get 1 from 1, you cube it. You want to get 8 from 2, you cube You cube 2. You want to get 27 from 3, you cube 3. So if their inverse function would be somewhat like this. That is, you want to get 1 from 1, you cube root 1. You want to get 2 from 8, so you cube root 8. You want to get 3 from 27, so you cube root 27. You want to get 4 from 64, so you cube root 64 and so on. So in this fashion, we see that cube root is the inverse function of cube. And this symbol is called cube root and it is read also as cube root. So now the question is how do we find cube root of a perfect cube? So how do we find cube root of a perfect cube? So our first option still remains the same prime factorization method. So let's take an example. Let us suppose that you have this number 175616, quite a big number and you have to find out its cube root. So what do we do? We prime factorize the number. So the first number that would divide it completely is 2. So 2 8s are 16, 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16, 2 8s are 16. So 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 9s are 18, 2 4s are 8. Again 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are 18, 2 5s are 10, 2 2s are 4. So in this, uh, in this fashion you continue the prime factorization so 2 5s are 10, 2 4s are 8, 2 8s are 16, 2 8s are 16. So once you complete its prime factorization, what do you see that this number 175616 can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So product of 9 2s, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So 9 2s and 3 7s. 
Now let's group it into groups. Now divide it into groups of three. So three twos together again. Three twos together. These three twos together and three sevens together. So this can be written as two cube into two cube into two cube into seven cube. So this can be written as two into two into two into seven cube. So this is two twos are four. Four twos are eight. Eight sevens are fifty six. So this would be fifty six cube. That means one seven five six one six is equal to fifty seven cube. So this its inverse function would be cube root of one seven five six one six is equal to fifty six. So fifty six is the answer. Thank you. Please visit examfear dot com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process, wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class six to twelve on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.